Welcome bam, bam, bam. to the No Chofters podcast. There you go. What a night. Well, that's a great way to start the pod. I'm Stel. I've got a co-host right here with me. You know this guy. You should know him by now. Fofana. <laughs> What's happening, bro? I'm good. <laughs> yeah, I'm good. I'm good. I'm good. Oh, I cannot be good. Today is a, is a, great, is a great night. Of course, great night. of course. And you're, and, you're, and you're wearing the perfect attire for this podcast man yeah 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 Is i was ready i was ready as well yeah <laughs> <laughs> now i was ready for this night i was ready because i knew that uh, today we're gonna make it you know we're gonna make it we're gonna go to the to the group stage of europa league so you know and we've done it a perfect night and we've yeah. done it. And I'll tell you what, without further ado, I've got Roy here as well. Hey, Don Ray. Hello, boys. <laughs> He's gone. <laughs> that was Roy, ladies and gentlemen. That was Roy. He's not. He's, he's come, he's shown his face, he's gone. That's it. Kalinichta, that's it from here. Yeah. <laughs> oh, he's back again. <laughs> hello, 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 hello. Sorry, guys. Yeah. What's going on, Ray? Hey, hello. I'm fine, I'm fine. Right. How, how are you, Poppy? Welcome to the show. Uh, Welcome to the show. Yeah, uh, I've been missing, I've been missing you guys, and today is the perfect day, you know, to jump into the into the show, you know. That's perfect, perfect. What a nice night yeah. today. What a yeah, nice yeah, yeah, In- unbelievable, incredible, you know. And uh, what to say? We need just to enjoy this night, you know. Enjoy. Well, th- this is it, Fofi. It's it's one of those nights where, you know. The game was over at half time and there weren't any nerves. Well, I didn't I didn't sense any nerves watching it on the television. It's almost as if the fans were like, all the adrenaline had gone. You know, it all been done in the first half. Yeah. Second yeah. half, it was like, just keep the score down, play yeah. your football, play, enjoy it. Um, you know, try not to concede the goal and get through to the next round. And I'll tell you what, it was very comfortable in the end, wasn't it, Fofi? Yeah, yeah. To be honest, it was it was a game that uh, we we closed the game from the first half with two zero, and this give us more comfort in the second half to you know to 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 to, to, to enter in the game with the you know with free minds to to enjoy the game. And this uh, what the boys they did you know they come in the second half, they enjoy the game, they try to score another uh, one more goal. But uh, they were focused on the game, you know, hundred percent, you know, to to don't concede to make sure. And this was it. You know, everything was perfect tonight. You know, nothing the, to th- they they give their best. The, the thing is, Fofi. I mean, if you, you remember the first leg, um, you know, the, the first half was very similar to this first half in the sense that. We were the team that was focused on scoring the goal. It's almost like Ghent were trying to invite the pressure on and hit us on the counter attack. Um, but in the second half, obviously Ghent stepped up. But on this occasion, we started on the front foot from the first minute, and that was very important because I think if we sat back and let them play, they would have really had a good time on the ball. Um, but in all fairness, we were very aggressive. We pressed very, very high. And I think defensively, again, the same as last week, they were very organised. There wasn't any silly mistakes. They weren't panicking. I think the first 15, 20 minutes, I noticed that whenever the centre-backs or the right-back or the left-back got the ball, they tried to put the ball in behind the full-backs to use the pace of Gago and, and Bruno to get in behind them. So it was a very good system. But then as the game grew, you could tell that Ghent were getting very frustrated. They weren't having many opportunities. Fabi made one brilliant save. But we were forcing them to make mistakes. And both of the goals that we scored, I mean, the, the first one from Guggle, I mean, I, I don't want to talk about the goal just yet. I just want to talk about the first stage of, of play um, in terms of our system, Fofi. What do you think stood out the most for you? Fofi? Uh-oh, he's got Roy's internet. He's got Roy's internet. <laughs> Mine is perfect. 
<laughs> he was, he was perfect now. <laughs> Come on, Roy, you were there. Let's let's talk about the game very briefly. I mean, okay, before Fofi gets everything sorted, I mean, shall we talk about the lineups first? Shall we talk about the, the style? Shall we talk about anything before well, the goal? Okay, we, can do whatever, we can do whatever. Uh, I'll take the advantage that now Fofi's not on, even though I'm I'm, I'm pretty sure he, he might know... A, he knows Greek by now, so. Uh, but I'm going to start in English and and I'll see how I feel while I, while it goes. So, I thought that um, starting the same eleven as the as last week uh, was sort of a a prize for these players who 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 stood uh, their ground and and they stepped up last week. Uh, so uh, both the starting lineup and the system uh, wasn't much of a surprise to me. I would say. Uh, anyway, we didn't have a lot of more options, I would say, to play differently. What I uh, I said uh, to you guys on the on the messages on our group is that uh, last week was a, was a very pleasant surprise for everyone. Uh, yeah, it was a, a very pleasant surprise for everyone because everyone stepped up uh, from top to bottom. And uh, if we wanted to stand a chance today, we... we we should have had a bit of the same. And uh, I can admit that today was one of the best performances as Sinomonia play. <clears throat> uh, I have to say thank you and sorry at the same time to some of the players that even though we didn't put them exactly down, uh, we at times doubted the fact that uh, <clears throat> we didn't have a lot of other choices that it would have we would have made it a lot more difficult for us. But for me today, with no disrespect to, to Ghent, uh, for a team that came and knew that they lost 2-0, they didn't do much other than a chance that Fabi saved when we were 1-0 up. I didn't see much from that team. And as you very rightly said at the beginning in your introduction, it, it felt like the adrenaline uh, had left. We were just... Yeah, hi, Fofi. Welcome back. Can you hear us? So, yeah, I was saying that, you know, we were even discussing as a joke with some of the mates there. It was as if that's not what we're used to as Omoniades. We, we, we wanted mm. to have like a, a heart attack. We wanted to, we wanted them to score a goal and, and, and you know, something should happen. We wanted to be stressed. I left the game and it was as if we, we beat a team like a second group team from the Cypriot League. Without saying that that's the, the level of Ghent. Without, I, I repeat, no disrespect, but my team was... Everyone, everyone, everyone. I don't know from where to start. Maybe we can do it later. But like, I, I seriously, I, I, I was so proud for the team. So, so proud. This is what I feel. Pride. Pride for, for, for everyone today. And I want to thank them. I want to congratulate them. And I want to apologize at the same time to them for maybe doubting them at, at some point. But today was, was immense. It was massive. And we're building character. I loved uh, Lennon as well, the way he, uh, when we sub players, the way he, he'd hug them and talk to them. And I, I think Lennon today was MVP. Do you know what? Um, th there's so much I can talk about with this game in terms of the way that we played and the system and everything, but... I wouldn't know where to start, in all fairness. Yep. Fofi, you've obviously played in, in European games for Omonia. Tell us about the atmosphere when you were playing from start to finish. No, the atmosphere was never like that when Fofi was playing, I promise. It never was like that. <laughs> no, the, the, the atmosphere was... Uh, yeah. was manic, was manic. Well, look, OK, let's talk about the game then, because... We started off with the same lineup as we did in the away leg. There was a few doubts about Fabi, whether he was going to make it or not. Um, yep. Obviously, he did. And I think at the end of the game, he, he was he was down. He was getting a bit of treatment. Um, yep. No surprises there in terms of the lineup then, no? Uh, not really. I, I mean, I think it would have been unfair uh, if something changed because everyone... Everyone, like I said, stepped up last week. And uh, to be honest, you know, I, I don't know what would have been fair uh, to change. I mean, Lang, OK, he, he was out because obviously his uh, wife gave birth to his child. But uh, 
Pana played really, really well, so it would have been unfair for Pana not to start the game. And um, okay, I, I thought that uh, a week later, uh, Bezos would, would be a bit more match fit, but still, I, I wouldn't change anything. I, I mean, I'm, I wouldn't change anything. Uh, but I wanted, you know, I expected, like, like I said in the message, that maybe Bezos, Fodis, even Tim would offer a bit of their experience in the game. And they did. When they came on, they, they did uh, do that. You know, it's, it showed that they've played these games before and they were quite comfortable. But it was at the later stages of the game. Uh, but overall, uh, it's like I said, it's, uh, there's so many things you can talk about the game, you know, so, mu so many things, you know. Okay, well, all right, let me let me start with the with the back line then. Um, very similar in terms of the way that we played in the first leg. The organization was there. I saw more aggression though, and especially yep. in stages of the game where Ghent were trying to put the ball over the top. They played with two up top today, as opposed to one. And both yep. of their strikers are always playing on the defender's shoulder, trying to make a. a, a like a darting run, or should I say, like an, an arching run, ball over the top or through through the defense, and we saw that in, on the occasion when when uh, Fabi had to make the save in the first half. But I think defensively they were very uh, very composed, aggressive at the same time, and they weren't panicking on the ball. As I said at the yeah. beginning of the game, the first 15, 20 minutes, they'd get the ball and they try to put it into the channels because they knew that their fullbacks had pushed forward. So get into the channel, let Gago or Bruno chase onto it. And that didn't seem to work for it. Well, it worked to some extent because we were putting pressure on them. But in terms of creating opportunities, I think it was there was a chance from Gago, which uh, Humbo fed him through mm. and he's hit the good shot first yeah. time, which was, was a great shot and a good save from the goalkeeper. And then the second chance was saved. But the first 15, 20 minutes, we're trying to get the ball into the channels. But after that, it's almost as if, you know, Ghent was still playing that same high line, but they were very sloppy in possession. But that wasn't because they were being, they were so bad. It's because we were so bloody good. Matthews was fantastic. There was one occasion a few minutes before half time. actually, the ball was down at the touchline on where the, where the camera is. And I'm looking at Matthews at the top of the screen. And the whole time, he's looking towards the ball, but he's always scanning to look over his shoulders to see where the, where the runner is. And this is something that we've we lacked look, from a defensive. Yeah. It, it, that's something what, what, that we lacked. Yeah, we, we, we lacked that. We lacked it completely. You know, Jan was even doing it today. So it, it just shows that when you've got someone that knows how to defend a, a certain way, it, he instills it into the rest of the team. Now, Militic was phenomenal, absolutely phenomenal. You know, he, Beast. mate, I, I swear, like he he ate the the striker's head. Like, he must have bit his head off and chewed it. I, I don't fucking know, man, because he was on stuff. So it was like Thanos. Do you know yeah. what I'm saying? He was on stuff tonight. I mean, the, his, his, uh, his tracking, the ch the tackling, the distribution with the ball, the composure. Um, you stare, brilliant. Absolutely really? brilliant. And do you know what? I said it last season. I didn't know why we signed him. But as his time at the club has grown, you're seeing why he's there. You're seeing this ball-playing centre-back that reads the game so well. And do you know what, Roy? Look how it rubbed off on Panna. Because Panna, again, was immense. He was fantastic tonight. He was, play he was playing against a central striker that tried to bully him. He weren't having it. He was getting stuck in with challenges. He was getting his head on the ball. He was throwing his body in the way. There was one occasion when, when Ghent had a shot from outside the box. Two of our players just ran towards the ball to, to, to block it. That was immense. Jan was fantastic again. And he was better defensively than he was going forward. And I think that's something that we haven't seen from Jan, to be fair, in the time that he's been with us. We, we, we've seen the best side of him going forward. But we haven't had this opportunity to Hello, see guys. him. I cannot listen. You Ray, can't can hear you listen me? Can yeah, I, hear? I, we can hear you. Yeah, we can hear you. I cannot listen, you guys. It must be something. I'll message you. I'll message you. I'll message, I'll message from him. I'll, I'll tell him to um, restart his computer or whatever it is. Um, uh, anyway, carry on talking. I'm going to send him a message. Go yeah, I, I was going to say about Jan. Uh, it, uh, Jan, okay, undoubtedly with Berg on the bench, had uh, some of his best games and, and seasons. Uh, but it seems with Lennon on, on the bench, he, he's changing 
what's expected from him. And he's becoming a more composed player, a player that, you know, e even in his heyday, uh, we would say that uh, he was he was balanced, but his assists uh, w were the things that stood out. But uh, now I think he's 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 become more of a, a left back in the defensive uh, sense of a left back. I think, and we don't expect everything from him, you know. And I think that, uh, you know, lifted some weight off his shoulders as well. And uh, let's not forget that today, uh, not, not just today, uh, he, he wore the captain's armband as well. And he, and he was a real captain as well. Even though, you know, there's, I can say the same about Yuste. I can say it about Fabi. I can say it about, you know, ev everyone. I don't think, I don't think anyone did something wrong today. They were they're all you know MVP. All the team was the MVP. You know the the team was fantastic today. So, for example, Fabi, Fabi, he, he was only needed once in the game, but still his experience. You could see his time wasting, uh, controlling, uh, and dictating the tempo from the back. You know when when he needed to. Yuste didn't put a foot wrong, and uh, he seemed like the to be the leader of, of the defensive line. Miletic showed uh, that he's an absolute beast that doesn't take any shit. Bana, uh, he, he would fucking give it to everyone. Yeah. Um, uh, or, or Matthews didn't do anything wrong. Um, Oyan, Bashiru, Hambos, Mix. Right, th th this, is, this is why when you bring in players like Matthews, okay, and people were shitting on it and saying, oh, this guy, we don't know what he's like. He's come from Charlton. He's come from... People forget he's played so many games for the Welsh national team. Yeah? He's played for so Celtic. many games for, for Sunderland, for Celtic. This is a top-level player, man. All right, he's, he's not Premier League standard. He's probably championship standard, but he's good enough for a morning. And I'll tell you this, tonight, in fact, the last two games he's played for us against Ghent, I don't know how Psalti's going to get back in the team at this rate, to be honest. And this is in a disrespect to, to Psalti because I love the guy. But see, when you've got a right back like him in front of you, it's very, very difficult to dislodge him. But at the same time, what Baris can learn from the guy is it, it's incredible. It's absolutely incredible. Most definitely. Most definitely. Listen, we got. Listen, the, something I want to say, I don't know if it's early to say it, is that. The way Ghent played against us today is not going to be something that we're going to be seeing very often in the in the Cypriot League. So maybe, yeah. So that's another thing we we have to bear in mind uh, when we're talking about the game because uh, we got we're going to need different characteristics. We're going to need different systems. You know, we're not going to have the spaces. We, we, we're going to have to attack teams and and it's going to be different but uh today i repeat uh it's it's very very difficult to find something a flaw from today's game you know mm -hmm. let's not forget who we're playing against with i repeat it of seemed that, we, that we were playing against the team from like a i i don't remember when was the last time omonia in a european game against a team that was better Everyone keeps talking about the game against Antwerp in Nagasi B last year, you know, as like a, a top performance. But I think today was a more complete performance. Yeah, it's a team, okay, granted, it is not better than, than uh, Antwerp. Antwerp is a better team uh, with more quality. Yeah, but Roy, don't forget the, the, Ant the Antwerp game. It, there was so much adrenaline, you know. You, obviously, you remember it. You know, it was like oh, we yeah. um, we scored first. They 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 didn't they, they equalize and we scored again, scored again, and they made it three two. Then we made it four. It was just yeah. it was a, a back and forth. It was like a basketball game. Do you get what I'm saying? And don't get me wrong, it was a, it was it was a great game. It was an entertaining game. It was one that will live in our memories forever. But there were so many moments in in that match where we could have shot ourselves in the foot because of the lack of disorganisation. And again, that's probably because a lot of the players that were there, I mean, okay, some of the new signings, you know, still needed to get used to their their, their teammates, et cetera, et cetera. 
But today, it was complete, as you said, from back to front, from front to back. It was just incredible. You know, I didn't even speak about uh, mix and bash and humble, especially uh, humble. We're going to wax lyrical a lot about anyway, mm -hmm. but I want to give kudos to to mix because I've been saying for a while now that he lacks aggression. He looks a little bit soft, but tonight, Jesus Christ, mate, some of the challenges that he was putting in the intensity yeah. that he was playing at the pressing, you know, Brilliant, sublime. The, some of the passing that he made, Bash. Yep. You know, you know what you're going to get from Bash. And the thing is, it's it's so unfair for me to say, well, that's kind of expected from Bash because, like, he's that he's that bloody good. So that when he puts in a performance like this, it doesn't surprise me anymore. But he is that fucking good, right? And and little humble man, fucking hell, the the pass to Guggle, where he just threaded it through. You yep. know, his his goal, the the one touch, the two touch. He made the listen that one two with Bruno the composure in front of goal. Come on, man! I mean, this lad is just he's on the next level. And I tell you what, if they if they want to talk about players leaving the club to go elsewhere to better themselves, he's going to be the next one and put people's lips. Mark my words, he's he's so fucking good. He's so fucking good, man. And you know, it's not even about the goals that he scores, Roy. It's about his positional awareness. It's about him knowing when to make forward runs, when to track back. Went to track the runner. Fucking at the end of the um, at the end of the was it the first half? He was doing Rabonas at the fucking uh, corner flag. Yeah, you know? yeah. Jesus Christ, man! I'm thinking it's only half time, man. Relax. But this is what I'm saying. Like this, the, the cohesion in this team is just. You know, I, I was very worried after the Abolong game in terms of the performance. In terms of, I didn't watch it to be honest. So I, I heard from you guys how bad it was. So I was thinking, fuck, we're going to get dicked by these guys. But I'll tell you what, man, I don't know what Lennon said to him or what the deal was, but it, it fucking worked. Uh, Bruno was brilliant. There was there was one chance we put over the bar and there's a yeah, couple of occasions. Lean forward. Yeah, he should have leaned forward well, he, instead of leaning back. He, 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 tried, he tried to put his foot through it. And that's the thing. Like, he, he didn't have to do it. He just needed to, to guide it. He just used the yeah. momentum, of, momentum of the ball because it broke to him at a good pace. So when that happens, yeah. you don't need to put your foot for it. Anyway, it is what it is, right? But I'll tell you what, though, the, the, the composure and the assists, both of the assists, yeah? Both of the assists were absolutely brilliant. And don't forget, as much as it looks like, it, as much as both of the assists looked easy, he got the weight of the pass or the passes. Yeah. Perfect. Absolutely Sorry. perfect. They could have gone in. Sorry, anyway. guys. No, no worries, Fuffy. No worries, yeah. no worries at all, mate. We're just, we're just yeah. talking about the goals, actually. I wanted to talk about Gagul Liz goal because you know a thing or two about scoring, Fuffy, right? Yeah. Um, uh, for the past year and a half now, I've been talking about Gagul Lee and how he may not get a lot of goals, but his movement off the ball helps him so much. And he, he does a lot, or should I say he helps the team when it comes to his movement. And I think yeah. his goal pretty much sums that up because if you notice... When Bruno's running with the ball, Guggle peels off. So he's pulled the defender out of position. By doing that, he's opened a big hole for either Bruno to run into or to set him up. And yeah, he did yeah. that. Mm. And it, it was a first-time finish as well. Kakuni is the players that he has in, improved the last two years, you know. Slowly, slowly, he's trying to, to get his position in the team. And now he's showing, he's showing more his quality, you know, his... He, he have been part of this team and his movement is a is a fast player he's a fast player uh, his movement the space help a lot the team to 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 go more uh, deeper yeah to 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 go to, uh, deep inside the the box of uh, in the area of the the, the opponent you know and uh, for him it's, it's easy also to 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 create chance uh, in the box the team. Fofi, as a former player yourself, and in fact you're still playing, but playing at a high level, can you t can you explain to our viewers the importance of having a striker that perhaps if he isn't scoring goals, he contributes in other ways? Because again, going back to what I said about Gabu Li, his movement, getting into the right positions, pulling defenders away from goal to create openings, that is almost as good as having a striker that scores you goals, right? 
Yeah, right. Uh, for 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 any coach is a gold is a gold for him. You know, uh, having one one player can can the same time go in the in the space, the same time coming to participate to create space for the for the others players to you know to to get involved in the in the offensive games. For any coaches, I think is a is a gold. You know, and Kakule is doing this well, and I'm sure 100 percent that the coach is happy to have him in the team. You know. Because uh, the movement is doing, he is uh, helping too much. Uh, is helping a lot the team. You know, uh, for me, it's one player like Kakulis, any coaches that will be in Omonia will will be happy to have him. You know, because he have improved a lot in the last two years. If you if you see Kakulis, you know, and uh, he's perfect for the team. Fofi, did, did you did you watch the first leg as well? Did you watch the first game against? Yes, yes. I watched the, the, the first game. Yeah, because the, the one major thing I noticed about Gagulin in from the first game to this one is how in this, this game that we just saw, he was more physical. The first one, it's almost as if they were bullying him. They were ragdolling him, you know, kicking him here and there. And it's almost as if he couldn't get any rhythm in, in the game. But today... He was taking the kicks, but he was giving kicks as well. So again, that yeah, shows no. signs of maturity, no? Yeah, yeah. No, that's true. That's true. It's is, is normal. And uh, playing away, okay, is from my experience, is not easy playing away. And uh, you are always in this, you know, in uh, the first first game playing away, you are always in this uh, defensive, you know, mind, you know. To, to try to to do the things better because okay playing the euro the 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 qualification for the Europa League you know is 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 totally different and playing home I think have helped him a lot also to show more itself you know you know that the importance of the the today game you know you know that today he have to give his best you know in the team he can he have to to run no matter the kick he will take today he have to run he have to help the team you know and this uh, pay off you know and the you know, and uh, we have the, the win today. Fofi, one more thing on Gagul's goal. How difficult is that kind of technique to hit it first time, especially when your, your body shape is a, is a little bit 45 degree? Difficult, yes. You know, this is, 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 is work, you know. I'm sure that these things have been working the training, you know. So when you got into the game and you have this kind of, the same situation, you know, it's become easy. You can... Okay, from outside, it may be easy, but this is 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 hard work. You know, you can see that this this is a thing that is working in the training, and when uh, automatically happen in the game, you know, you can you can finish very easy. You know. So uh, let's talk about Humble's goal then. Um, another very good goal, which I think he started and and ended the move because he won the ball back and he played the one-two with with Bruno and he just slotted it. But before yeah. he played the one-two, yeah. it was the two touches, the way that he brought the ball down. All right, I know it bounced off his knee, but you have to get a little bit of luck sometimes. But for him to continue making that run and for him not yeah. to be tracked, again, that, that this shows more signs of, of maturity and the fact that Lennon allows these players, these youngsters to have the freedom to express themselves and that have that responsibility to make that, that darting running to the box. Fofi's happy. Come on, Roy, talk to me about the goal then. Talk to me about Humble's goal. What can I say, Rafide? It was a it was a, a very nice goal from uh, from the beginning till the end. Uh, like you like you said, Humble's won the ball. He played with uh, with 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 Bruno, the one two. Uh, he, he came into a, a position of a centre forward. The truth is, at, at that moment, I was a bit worried how I was going to finish it, but uh, the finish was clinical, you know. Uh, the finish was clinical and uh, two goals in two games from, from a youngster. Uh, this is something we we have to not forget, you know, that today Pana is 21, Kaku 20, Hambos 20, and they played with matu with the maturity of of veteran players and this is what we have to understand and uh, even though they, they we admitted more about Hambos and uh, Pana uh, like we said on the previous pod sometimes we have to lay off Kaku as well because Kaku 
has improved a lot. <clears throat> and let's not forget he's a, he's a, a youngster. He's, he's just 20, 21 years old. And he's growing organically and, he, and he's improved. And he's in a position where, you know, he's going to get a lot of uh, top-class defenders against him. Uh, I feel so proud. They made us proud, Refide. They made us proud. You know, and... Uh... Do, do you know what is there? I mean, look, I, I wasn't nervous going into this game, not because of the, the scoreline, but the fact that they had to come at us. And after that first half, Oh, sorry, I say the first leg. I thought if we the first 20, 25 minutes, the first quarter of the game, if we keep the score nil nil, I won't have any issues because I, I can't see this team breaking us down. They tried it everything in the in the first leg in their own backyard and they struggled and they struggled. And yeah, again, they're a better team than us. Okay, if you think about it on paper, or I know the, the last two games don't really, you know, paint that picture, but we didn't give them a chance. All right, so if you think about on paper, on paper, they're better than us. But we've done them over twice. So I felt the first quarter, if we get through it nil-nil, we'll be fine. But the moment we scored, it's almost as if it was that, that body blow. You know, in a boxing match, that body blow. Yeah. And it, it, it stunned them. It really stunned them. And then afterwards, it was like they could only do... Um, well, they could only go with their plan B, which was put more, more men f uh, further forward, try and move the ball quicker. But at the same time... They were time, very predictable, man. They, uh, the get was very, very predictable. They, 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 they were did. because they ran out of ideas there. That's what... Yeah. This is what I'm trying to say. Like, And the moment we got the second goal, that was it. It was done. And they that was it for them. I mean, the last... I remember it was a couple of minutes before half time because they went three at the back again. Yeah. They had three at the back. And they're right centre-back, the right one of the three, he wanted to play a, a five-yard pass to the wing-back and he played it behind him. And his body language was just like, I can't do anything right. Do you know what I mean? But there were some occasions, I'm not going to lie, there were some occasions where we got a little bit lucky. Where like they try, they, they play a, a through ball and Militich will be running, chasing the striker and he'll hit Militich's ankle and go back yeah. the other way. Yeah. Do you know, little things here and there where you're thinking... We're getting a few lucky breaks here, so it's going to be your night. You know when it happens in football? Where like a simple 10-yard square pass or a, or a through ball just ends up in, the, in row Z, then you're thinking, it ain't going to be our night. And that's what it was like for them. But as I said, when we got that second goal, when Humble put it in the back of the net, they had nothing else. The second half was... It was half game over. It was it, game it was, but, but second half for them, it was like, we'll try and salvage some pride. But it came to the point where the last 20 minutes... They're putting the ball over the top. They're trying to they're trying to play the ball over the top to those three ahead of those three centre backs are over six foot. This is what I'm saying. We run out of ideas, and we that's why I'm saying the system works so fucking well because from a pressing perspective, we had them by the balls. From an aggression perspective, we had them by the balls. Getting the ball out wide to try and beat our fullbacks, they had them by the balls. They're two strikers, 20 million pound strikers in total. Had them by the balls. We had them by the balls. It's, it's, this, this should be the, the title of the pod today. We had them by the balls. <laughs> yeah, well, it, should, it should be, but, you know, you know, but hey, but hey. So, yeah, uh, mate, do you know what? And, and the thing is, that I'm not trying to be funny because the, the fans were absolutely phenomenal, especially first half. But it seemed to me that because the tie was effectively over. You could tell that there wasn't much achos, do you know what I mean? Like, with, with a cup final, you could cut the fucking atmosphere with a knife. But half-time, it was yeah. like, okay, we'll just go to, you know, we'll have our birana or whatever. I don't know how many beers you had at fucking half-time. Anyway, but... Uh, <laughs> yeah, my, my fucking game balls. balls, I, I, balls, had balls, balls. I, yeah, I had whiskeys. Yeah, whiskeys. I smuggled whiskeys in the, in the uh, pitch. You can't say that live on the fucking show. They're going to check you properly next time. They're going to look at your fan yeah, card. They're going to look at your CD. And then they're going to be like, oh, they're bunkers. Fucking all right. Anyway, so... Um, <laughs> I get other so, people to bring it in for me. <laughs> you're going to balls it, as they say. 
<laughs> and then balls. So that's the title, man. Balls, balls. <laughs> But, but so t- talk to me about the atmosphere the second half then, because it, it seemed to me that everyone seemed so relaxed at the time. It's almost as if everyone had, had smoked the spliff at half time. And it was like, Listen, you know what, let's just, yeah. I think that, uh, um, today, actually, you know, uh, when I was having my lunch break, I was going through my social media and I saw Marios, who was on the show last week, Otman, and he was doing a live on TikTok. And uh, I joined him. And uh, he he was uh, he thought that you know the the fans are going to win it today, and I was like, okay, the fans don't play football, and especially Cypriot fans and Omonia fans have not reached to to the point where we, we I said what what I said that the fans should lead the way, and what do I mean by that? That what we expect from the team, we we are the ones who first should do it. Iradi, if we expect the, the team to be patient, if we want more more passion, if we want, we, we, we are the ones to dictate the tempo, the fans. And, okay, we were lucky enough that the game went our way. Not lucky. We must have so still, if you listen to me. But the cosmos has played the role of the Gino's για να έρθει η νίκη, δηλαδή ο κόσμος επιέννε με η ομάδα. Εγώ δεν ξέρω, είχα την αφιβολία μου αν ας πούμε επιέννε χει κάτι, αν τρώαμε τέρμα, αν δεν πιέζαμε, αν δεν πιέζαμε, όπως πιέζαμε, πώς ήταν να αντιδράσει ο κόσμος. Μην ξεχνάς ότι not a week ago, like maybe ten days ago, when we were discussing about ομονία, we were very negative, we were very pessimistic about the team. But they have proved and they, 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 they changed the opinion of, of the fans. And this is what I said even in the podcast with the Netcast Zone boys. Or the, uh, okay, things don't look good now. But what if we win the, what if we win again and we sign a player? Everything's going to change. And this is what it is. And uh, I'm not going to say that we don't need the extra players. But what they have proved this, this week or so with the two games is that uh, we, we, we've got a good team. We've got a good team. Now, how it's going to... How is it going to go in the next season? How is it going to improve the team? How is it going to help the new players? How is it going to improve the players in the Cypriot League? It's a story. But we managed to get a new progress in the Europa League, which is bringing the players in the team, bringing the players in the team, Φέρνει πρεστή στην ομάδα, μπορείς να προσεγγίσεις και άλλους παίχτες. Τα πράγματα γίνονται καλύτερα, ελπίζω να τα έβρουμε και με τον Λοΐζο. Και να έρθουν και άλλοι παίχτες, επειδή βασικά το που έγινε τώρα, εγκαιρδίσαμε χρόνο. We, 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 we want time. Sorry, Φόφι, do you, do you understand Greek? Yeah, yeah, yes. I understand, I understand what you, you are saying. Okay. Because uh, sometimes I, I can express myself better in Greek, but uh, yeah, sorry if... Um, By the way, have you noticed Fofi took his hat off and the internet is working fine now? So yeah. maybe that, that's the problem with me for the two years that I'm wearing hats all the time. You're wearing hat, see? Yeah. Whenever I wear a hat, my internet goes down. Yeah, but if I had mm. Fofi's hair, I, w- I wouldn't wear a hat, man. My hair is fucking shit. <laughs> <laughs> At least you have hair. Fucking hell, man. Jesus. He's all about rubbing it in. Yeah. He goes to the game. He gets drunk. He comes and smokes a fucking Seattle on the balcony. Now he's rubbing it in about the hair. Fuck me. Uh, don't Jesus. worry. Don't worry about that. Disrespect. The disrespect. No. Fofi, I want to ask you. Did you go to the game today or, or, or did you watch it on TV? No, I watch it on TV. Yes, I watch it on TV. Okay, so, okay, how, how did you see the game? How, before, before the game started, what, what did you expect? We, obviously, we want to kneel away from home. And you as a player, because for, for us as fans, it's different. You know, I, I think that yeah. we, I, I mentioned in the previous pod that, you know, Abuel, for example, had lost 3-0. But yeah. they they believe that they can turn it around. Whereas we won two nil, and uh, the majority of the fans were were worried that you know we're not gonna go through to the next round. You as a player, how 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 do you approach these games? How 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 did you? Obviously, you played in similar uh, games, similar important games. How how what did you feel before? You know. 
what did you feel before the game started and 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 uh how how did you see the game from from your own perspective okay to as i will i will i will put myself as a player now you know winning mm. two zero away games you know and uh playing home uh i'm sure that the player the they approach the game with a lot of confidence you know with uh, playing in front of their fans you know uh it, it make a lot of difference you know like uh, i have the experience like playing when we play against dynamo home yeah. uh, is is a lot of is a pressure but is a good pressure you know for the, for the player you want to show to your fans that we can do it you want to show to your people that we, we uh, uh, where we are now we don't afraid of nothing you know our people our fans they are there to push us for 90 minutes you know and uh, i believe that the player they, they they went for into this game with a lot of confidence and you it shows it shows in the yeah. field it showed for the way they are running the way they are aggressive the way they are attacking you know so this shows that, that the player they, they they were waiting for this game to show to to the people that they can do it you know this is for me for for my experience uh, they, they they approach this game with a lot of confidence they, you can see if one team approach one game with a lot of confidence by the way they are playing by the aggressivity they are putting in the game you understand or you understand straight that uh, they were ready for this game and especially they win two two nil uh, away games so they ha- they knew that they have all the chance in their side to uh, to win tonight Fofi, this is going to be a pretty, it's like a rhetorical question that the answer is pretty obvious. But in terms of having a manager like Lennon, who has done a lot in the game, you know, we saw how his Celtic beat Barcelona. He went to Lazio and beat them with Celtic. How important is it to have this kind of manager that has that experience, but also a different mentality to what we're used to seeing from coaches in Cyprus, because no disrespect to other coaches ar- ar- around the island, but I don't think any other head coach, maybe with the exception of Berg, given that he's done it before, would go to Ghent and play that way, especially in the first half, and, and, and play them off the park. Yeah. I think, I, I think uh, like you say, any coaches uh, have different... But I see Lennon, he have a lot of experience also, you know. Yeah. And I'm sure that I watched some few trainings of uh, Omonia when they were in Kiperunda here. Uh, and I see the the way he's, he's working with the players, you know. And uh, I think uh, he's giving a lot of responsibility to the players. And in my, my point of view, I think it's very important to put one player in front of him, you know, to be responsible, you know, front of his uh, uh, teammates, you know, front of everything in the, in the team. And I think that Lennon is doing, is trying to to give this responsibility for some young players like you see Kakules, they, they have improved a lot, you know. They, they, they feel that uh, that the team need them. It make them feel that the, the team need them. They, they can help the team anyhow, you know, in the field. In, inside yeah. with the field, outside with the field. And I think that you have given this freedom to, to, to some players. And I think it's important also to give sometimes a freedom to one player to, to express himself, you know, in the field. And mm. uh, you have been doing well. And you can see some young players, uh, they, 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 are, they are improving the team. Well, it, yeah, I'll tell you what, it's, it's quite fitting that you mentioned how the youngsters are being treated off the field by their teammates and players who they look up to. We've got one former Omonia player here, Michael Lufner. Michael. Oh, Michael. Michael, it's, Michael, it's, Michael. It's an utter pleasure to, to see him in the comments. I, I hope that he can we come on. We miss you, Michael. Oh, Where have you been? Yeah. You've been a no-show for so saying, long. Right? Well, my, listen, yeah. Michael's a dad now. Michael's a dad now, so he's got other priorities. Do you get what I'm saying? But listen, the door's always open, man. If you want to jump on tonight, if you, if you want, that'll be great. If you can't, we'll do it another time. But Michael was one of the guys, and I remember speaking to him on numerous occasions after matches. He'd be one of the guys that would talk to the youngsters to, to explain to them what is right, what is wrong. He was like a father figure to them. And mm-hmm. let's get it right. If it weren't for the likes of Michael, 
Huberchan, Jordi, all the other players, Eric, these youngsters might not have had the impetus and the confidence to continue playing that the way that they're doing. That's not to take anything away from the coaches, don't get me wrong, but when you have people in the squad that have got the experience, that have played Europa League, Champions League, European Championships, come on, man. Yeah, you need to learn it. from these guys. So, you know, my, my call will forever be in Omonia's DNA. He'll always be a legend to the club, you know, for the, for the time that he spent with us. And he'll always be a good friend of ours as well. So, Michael, it's, been, it's great seeing you again, man. And, um, you know, I'm going to have to message him. It's been a couple of weeks since we last had a, had a little conversation, man. But, yeah, everyone, everyone is going mad for Michael now, man. Everyone's, everyone's going back for Michael. There you go. See, and this is the thing, like, people like Foffy and all these other former Omonia players, you know, we never forget them. You know, yeah. we never forget them. Okay, we, we might not be as active in terms of the communication sense, but you're always going to be part of the club's history, the part of the club's fabric because you get it. And the thing is, most, if not all of the players that we've spoken to, past and present, they've always loved this club. They've always loved the fans and the fans have always loved them, regardless of how bad the club has done, how well the club has done. And we appreciate everything. So this, yeah, this 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 is no is, is no matter. You come on, you come on this team. You come in Omonia. Things may be wrong. Maybe you don't you don't play. Maybe you you play. You maybe you have a bad season. But Omonia is that makes the difference. You know, Omonia you will be as as soon as you play in Omonia and you leave the team. You, even by yourself, maybe you may not have a lot of communication with the people, but you by yourself, you know that you have been part of one big family, you know. And uh, for me, this is Omonia. Omonia is, uh, I will always say this, you know, uh, Omonia is, is different. It's different. You mm -hmm. have to be inside to, to feel this. You, know? it's, you cannot explain. You have to, to live, live this moment and then after you, you realize this, you know. So Fofi, who are you who are you hoping that we get in the in the group stages now? Are there any specific clubs that you'd like to see Omonia face? Uh, <laughs> <laughs> but for me, for me, uh, I don't have any specific, uh, you know, any team. But I hope we we are, we are, we do well, you know, in the in the group stage. You know, in any team will come. We we show them that. Uh, that also in Cyprus we have a, a, a great team, you know. We can we can fight in with any European uh, European team. Mm. Well, look, shout out to Ayek for getting a win tonight. They're in the uh, yeah. the group stages, which is fantastic for for Cyprus. Uh, Abolon are losing at the moment to uh, Olympiagos, uh, one nil. Yeah, yeah. It's only one. It's only one. So um, yeah, it'll be it'll be interesting. Oh, yeah. I, George wants to play Union Berlin. Well, you never know. I, listen, I'd love to see, see us play an English team for obvious reasons, you know, for obvious reasons. But, you know... There's it, Arsenal and United, isn't it? Ooh, can you imagine? Play with Arsenal and United. Can you imagine? With, Uni uh, with United? It could happen. It could happen. Yeah. But I, I haven't it's seen... tomorrow. I haven't seen the... Um, the seedings now that all the, the the qualifiers are done, I haven't seen them, so I don't know what it looks like. If anyone's got a link to the to the um, the seedings or whatever, that'll be great because I, I I haven't seen it because then we we kind of have a rough idea. I mean, people are saying they want Arsenal, Lazio, Stefano wants Man United. He's a Liverpool fan, aren't you, Stefano? How are you feeling after the weekend, bro? By the way. Oh, nice. The, <laughs> the best ever Liverpool team, as we, we're led to believe out here, facing, facing the worst ever Man United team. And what happened? They got bullied off the park. Unbelievable. Uh, yeah, I just want to I just wanna say hello to Rodri Geeks. Uh, how is he, man? Where, where's that guy? Is, is it this guy, the Facebook user? I don't know. Where, where's, don't know. where's Rodri? Man? Rodri's gone quiet tonight. I don't you, know you, what's you, happening. He's usually talkative. I don't know, man. I don't know. Quiet. Rodri, where are you, man? We, we miss you, man. We I miss you. Know, maybe, maybe he's looking at his FPL team. He's thinking about what, what he needs to change, you know, because he's 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 doing absolute fuck all this year, isn't he? Honestly. It, it, isn't it funny how things work out, you know? 
This time last year, he's messaging me saying, you're bottom of the table. You're going to get the wooden spoon, blah, 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 blah. And what happened? I finished above him on the on the, on the table. Jeff Edos, this season, he's already started. I'm about 90 points ahead of him. Come on, Rod. Come, come on, Rod. Up. Come on. Oh, come on, Rod. Listen, I, if, if you want, I'll, for one week, I'll play a free hit and I'll just put all like Aston Villa and Bournemouth players <laughs> and for, just to give you a chance. But even then, you probably won't. No. But hey, listen, right, still, right, right, right. We, yeah. Roy is a Liverpool me, fan. No, Roy is a United fan. He's not a Liverpool fan. Uh, I'm a United. You support in England. What, what's your English team? Do you have an English team? <laughs> <laughs> okay, okay. To be honest, I like Manchester. You know, you like United, yeah. Like, okay, okay, yeah, yeah, yeah. I don't know. I thought at first I thought you were going to say Arsenal because of the Arsene Wenger Cote d'Ivoire linked as well. You know, Toure was there and Jovino. Yes, I know. We okay. We grew up watching United being being champion. You know, every year that you know. Uh, okay, Arsenal also, but um, Manchester is my favorite. Fofi, how many people do you think will watch our podcast if I got Arsene Wenger on for an interview? Uh, I cannot say numbers, but a lot. It'll be a lot. Okay, I'm gonna I'm gonna try to get yeah. Arsene Wenger on. I'm try to get Arsene Wenger on. Still, uh, yeah. Um, obviously, I'm I'm using my phone now. I'm not. Uh, that that's a motorbike that passed past past my house. Um, I'm using my phone, so I don't. I'm not on the laptop. Uh, can you the press conference? Uh, I'm really curious to see what Lennon said and what the manager of Ghent said as well. Do you know what I I look on um, on Twitter on one year put up the press conference, but then I checked, then it said it's it's been taken down by the user. So I don't know what's what's happened there. Um, let me let me see if we can bring it up here. if we can find what what Lennon or some of the players said about the game today, because I didn't really have the chance. I, I left the the game and then I just rushed home to to do the pod. So that um... that would be nice to see you. What we said. It's, it's not there. It's not there. They've only got yesterday's one. They've only oh, got news. one. Morning news. Uh, oh, fucking hell. Dora, you're asking something. Them. Adverts, adverts, adverts. What's wrong with this? I don't want a mystery, mystery surprise gift. Fucking hell, what is this? Um... Okay, I'll tell you what, I'll bring it up on the screen and you can read it out. Can you read it out? Of course I can read it. Yeah, I didn't say if you can read, I read it out. I meant I could, I, uh, I'll, be, I'll be glad to. <laughs> of course I can read. What do you think I am? <laughs> <laughs> oh my God. I'll, right. I'll, I meant I'll be glad to read what he said. Right, where are we? Here we go. It starts yeah, from here, me, doesn't it? Yeah, it's, the letters are really small. Let me put my glasses and oh, try and Jesus see if I can. Christ, honestly. Yeah. Can I now? zoom in? How about this? Can right you see now? It's right in can you see? Yeah. 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 Here, put it from the beginning. It is. Oh, here it is. Yeah. Η θα με το Φαβιάν, σημαντικό ότι κρατήσαμε το μηδέν. Σίγουρα υπάρχουν στιγμές στο παιχνίδι που θα δεχτούμε πίεση. Κάναμε πολύ καλό παιχνίδι στο Βέλγιο, όμως το δεύτερο εγχρονο η Γάντια έφτιαξε. Ρε, is this the... today's? What? Κάναμε... Είμαι πολύ καλός πρόβλης για τους παίχτες στον κόσμο. Η ομάδα βρήτερα, φανταστική νύχτα για την ομάδα. Yeah. Αν Ό,τι έγινε η κλήρωση πήραμε μια πιο δύσκολη ομάδα, πήγαμε εξαιρετικά στα δύο παιχνίδια, παίξαμε φανταστικό ποδόσφαιρο παίρνοντας σε μια πολύ καλή ομάδα. Η ομάδα μας ήταν σήμερα πολύ δυνατή και έκαναν τον αγώνα σκληρό για τον αντίπαλο. Αν υπομονούμε, θέλουμε ένα... Am I reading this correct? Θέλουμε ένα... Sexy group με ωραίες ομάδες. Yeah, 
Ε, είδα τη Γάντι ότι έγινε η κλήρωση και μου φάνηκε καλύτερα να παίξουμε με τριάδα πίσω. Αξίζει η επιλογή. Αναλύσαμε τον αντίπαλο, διαπιστώσαμε ότι κάποια θέματα στο αμυντικό μηχανισμό και χτυπήσαμε την άμυνα του για το χαραλάμπου, για το χάμπο. Σπουδαίο. Σπουδαίο. Χάμπο μου αγαπώ σε πολλά, αγαπώ σε πάρα πάρα πολλά. Συνεχίζει έτσι ταπεινά. Χάμπο, χάμπο. Continue being humble the way you are. Ένα σπουδαίο παιδί έχει προσωπικότητα, μαθαίνει, έχει πράγματα να δουλέψει, αλλά ήταν εξαιρετικό και στα δύο παιχνίδια. Είμαι πολύ χαρούμενο και για τον κακουλί, κακού μου λεβέντη μου, αγαπώσε. Σκόραραν δύο Κύπροι και ο Παναγιώ του πίσω ήταν εξαιρετικό. Mm. Τα ερωτηματικότητα τη Κύπρου γενικότερα, όχι του δικού μα, είναι η συνέπεια, η αγωνιστική και αυτό ήταν ένα στίχημα για αυτού και τα κατάφεραν. Και οι τρει πήγαν πάρα πολύ καλά. Πήγαινε πάνω ρεστέλ. Τι άλλαξε σε σχέση με προηγούμενα παιχνίδια και η ομάδα παρουσιάστηκε τόσο αλλαγμένη. That's an interesting question. What, what, what changed in comparison to the previous game? Mm. Δεν ήμουν στο γήπεδο Αλλά σε κύριο το παιχνίδι Ήμουν τιμωρημένος και αυτό με εκνεύρισε Όλες οι ομάδες χρειάζονται την καθοδήγηση Στον πάγκο και αυτό έλειπε η φωνή Για τις μεταγραφές θα συζητήσουμε πράγματα Τις επόμενες μέρες Ήδη πήραμε το Κασάμα Ψάχνουμε για επιθετικό αριστερό μπακ Δεν έχουμε πολλέ λύσει. Όμω σίγουρα αυτή η επιτυχία είναι ένα δυνατό Οικονομικό ουστάρισμα για την ομάδα Για την κλήρωση και αν έχει προτιμήσει. Αστιευόμενο, είπε αρχικά, θα προτιμούσα ίσω Ρώμα, Λάτσιο, τη United, τη Σεβίλη. Είμαι ενθουσιασμένο για αύριο. Θα απολαύσουμε την ωραία εμπειρία αφού κάναμε τα δύσκολα. Είναι τρομερό για την ομάδα, του παίχτε, για την ομάδα, αλλά για έναν προπολιτή να κουτσάρει μια ευρωπαϊκή ομάδα. Οκ, I don't know if you guys want me to translate or if uh, there's no need to translate. I'm okay. Is Fofi all right? Do you want to translate? Yes, yes, I need to. Yes, a little bit. I, I, I think that you and Fofi should start speaking in Greek, man. I think the numbers will go up if you and Fofi start speaking in Greek together, man. Fofi, I'm going to go to the next one. 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 But uh, you were reading so fast, so he, he, he was, he was, co- he was, com- he was complimentary of the three Cypriot lads. Um, he said that two Cypriot kids scored goals. He said Bana had a had a very good game defensively. Um, he was, yeah, he, was yeah. he wasn't at the oh, Lennon wasn't at the Super Cup because he was uh, suspended, if I'm not mistaken, because he got sent off in the in the yeah. cup final. Yeah, yeah. He said that the club, the team, needs a manager's voice there. Um, they were talking, talking about the European games. And how he wants Man United or Sevilla or, or Roma or Lazio, and he was joking about it. But um, they're going to have to wait for the for the group uh, announcements tomorrow. He asked about transfers. They they're looking for they brought in Kasama. They're looking for a, a left back, um, but we don't have um, many spaces left for I think non EU players, if I'm not mistaken. So yeah, I think that's. The gist of it, but Roy's turned into a uh, Casper the friendly yeah. ghost now. Look at him; he's 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 whiter than white. Milk Roy, <laughs> milk man. There you go, lovely. So, um, I so. yeah, I, I think it's it's been um, a successful night, don't you think, Foffy? Successful night. Yeah, it's a perfect night. Perfect, it's a perfect night. night. Yeah. There you go. But apart it's from the night, you're always, in, you're always into it in yours, but yeah, it's all right, kind of all perfect. <laughs> Is everything okay now? Oh, blimey. Yeah, yeah you, you just turned white for a, for a few seconds. Yeah, I went to get another beer. It's like paparazzi were taking photographs of you. <laughs> no, 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 I just went, went inside to get another beer. <laughs> Roy, how was the atmosphere in the... Uh, in the... the atmosphere was good, you know. Uh, for me, you know, gro- growing up in the 90s and, and the... Thousands, you know, in the two thousands. I, I, I don't want to be unfair to the, to the people who are trying now to make a, a new beginning. But okay, we, we were lacking that sort of ultra sort of um, passion that is a way of life. But okay, yeah, but you say I'm, that, Roy. That, you say that, but I tell you this, and this is what I told you ages ago. There's a lot of youngsters at that stadium 
a lot of youngsters, and they're the future, yeah, man. This is something that needs to to grow. Uh, like I, like we've mentioned many times, being being a, an ultra is is a, is a way of life, and unfortunately, uh, I believe that the organomeni get kida masithira nyai dani kal literally mesas tingi pro. Tora apu efia sin γίνεται μια προσπάθεια που κάποια παιδιά θα κάνουν και δεν μου αρέσει και το λαλό συνεχίζουν το πράγμα επειδή φαίνεται ότι αδικό sorry for you I'm speaking with φαίνεται ότι αδικό αδικό ότι νέα προσπάθεια που γίνεται αλλά σίγουρα we are still lacking I don't know whether all this sort of pressure we're putting and the fact that Επιστρέφουν και οι οργανωμένοι ούλων των ομάδων να επισπεύσει τη διαδικασία να δυναμώσουμε και εμείς ή να το δούσουν ότι πρέπει να κάνουμε κάτι καλύτερα. Αλλά σίγουρα για έναν άνθρωπο που μες τα 42 μου και μεγάλωσα με την οργανωμένη κερκίδα και με το ουλτριλίκι και με τις φωτοβολίδες και είπα σου εν τρόπος ζωής. Τον το πράγμα είναι ένα πιο watered down, a more mild sort of thing that hasn't got new ideas, hasn't got the, that passion that, you know... Well, it, I think it, times it have changed though, Roy. Times have it's changed. Still the beginning. It's still the beginning. I feel like I want to be a good job. Because I want to be a good job now, I want to be a good job now. Don't forget, Roy, sorry to cut you, but don't forget, a lot of these kids, they go to school, they go to college, but I some are in the army. You know, okay, yeah, maybe yeah. some of them, some of them rely on their parents to help them buy tickets. Some of them have part-time jobs. It's very difficult. It's very difficult, and the prices of tickets, all right, in comparison to the UK, is, is chalk and cheese. But it's still expensive for Cyprus. So for them to, and don't forget, they have to travel. Some of them, obviously, many don't live in in Lefkosia. so they have to, you know, maybe get in a car with their friends and chip in for for petrol and all that kind of stuff and yeah, food this and. This is part of, of, of the whole thing I'm saying. Okay, I, I, I think that at um, a certain extent, I'm, I'm acting like, you know, like a, when you're talking to 50 plus, 60 plus Omonia fans and they remember Omonia how it used to be in the 70s and the 80s and they have that memory because that's how they grew up with Omonia as a, Success, it's the same thing with me. Εγώ μεγάλωσα έχοντας οργανωμένη κερκίδα. Εβίωσα το ουλτριλίκι, όχι προσωπικά εγώ, επειδή δεν προσπαθώ να πω ότι εγώ είμαι ουλτρα ή οτιδήποτε, αλλά μεγάλωσα έχοντας τσινόν το κομμάτι και θεωρώντας ότι την κερκίδα, την οργανωμένη της ομόνιας ήταν η καλύτερη. Τώρα γίνεται μια νέα προσπάθεια και ακόμα στην αρχή, είναι still the beginning. Και μπορεί, ας πούμε, years from now, να, να, να έχουμε και εμείς μια πολλά καλή κερκίδα και λέω σου ξανά δεν θέλω να δικώ κανέναν που τα παιδιά ούτε τους προηγούμενους που ήταν και με ούτε τούτους που τώρα κάνουν μια προσπάθεια αλλά θέλει ακόμα πολλά θέλει πολλή δουλειά ακόμα για να νιώσεις ότι γίνον το πράγμα και προστατεύεις και διάσουσε την ατμόσφαιρα την ωραία σήμερα ας πούμε είσαι 18 χιλιάς κόσμο και είχαν και παιχνίδικα που είχαμε έξι, εφτά και ήταν πιο εντονή η κερκίδα. Αλλά επαναλαμβάνω... Όχι επαναλαμβάνω... So okay, having almost eighteen thousand today is is not a a small number, you know. <clears throat> well, do you know yeah. what, boys? The Belgians have got their Belgian waffles, and they're very nice. But tell you yeah. what, everyone should go to Bladres and have Lochmades to celebrate. That's how we do it. You know, they were actually the thirty uh, get fans were sitting exactly behind me today. Okay. Did they want to yeah. take photographs with you as well? <laughs> no, 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 no. <laughs> <laughs> did, did, did you see Chris, by the way? Where, where is Chris? 
Chris exa- is exactly opposite from where I sit. I sit the digim vano. Yo, Chris, kahe de anado li di. Did he did he wave his no chofters flag? Uh, uh, even if he did, I couldn't see it, man. I don't know. He, s- he sent a photograph on WhatsApp for me saying this is my no chofters flag, and no one takes pictures of it. Nothing. So it's almost as if I've got a no chofters flag. <laughs> I'm going to take it to the stadium. Uh. <laughs> a, lot of, a lot of people recognized me today and a lot of people were like really supportive of the pod as well. So I want to say thank you to these people. I also want to say thank you to Mike Thrasu, who was the one who, who sorted out my ticket. And he told me that, you know, he wanted me to mention him on the pod today. So Mike, Edo, pick up. And I'm going to say thank you to his sense of humor, he's probably the worst in humor. His humor is the fucking worst in the world, man. He's fucking shit. Well, in, in what sense? Is he, is he the kind of person that, like, puts cling film on the toilet? <laughs> but, but he, 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 no, he, he, I, I think he just likes the fact that we make fun of him, that his humor is shit, and he tries hard to, to continue telling us shitty jokes. So th- this is Mike. Yeah, that's Mike. So, 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 has this turned into No Chofters, uh, aka Roast Mike, tonight? Is this yeah. what we're doing with? Yeah, uh, yeah. I'm going to send you some of the jokes and you can roast him next time as well. But, you know, I love him to fucking be do that. He's, he's one of the. Undrobi. Uh, Fuck Undrobi. Worst than yours. <laughs> Commander <laughs> So when I come back, hopefully we can we can meet up. It's uh, long overdue, you know. I I wanted to to meet up with you a long time ago, but we should yeah. we should arrange to meet up and uh, go for a coffee or go for some lunch or dinner, and we should arrange it yeah. for sure. Yeah. Fofi, one more thing. That that shirt is that a, a shirt that you've worn for a match? Yeah. Which match was it? Do you remember? Then Dynamo. Oh, Dynamo. Okay, okay. Yeah, against okay. Dynamo. This was the jersey I was wearing. I wore against Dynamo. The last game uh, we have at home game. See, usually when footballers, re- well, not so much nowadays, but in the old days, when footballers retired, they become big and they they let themselves go. But you, that shirt looks too big for you. Like you've been trimming down, like. You don't eat any carbs, do you, Fuffy? <laughs> no. <laughs> no um, carbohydrates for Fuffy. Seen... No jollof, no nothing like that. No rice. No, no... jollof. <laughs> Some... Jollof, uh, no, jollof, we cannot avoid. <laughs> mm. <laughs> we have to eat all the time. No, avoid jollof. Oh, Roy, I think his ears were burning. Look at this. It's Rodri. Another lucky, another lucky win. Look at this guy. <laughs> It's all good. Well, boys, right. I think yeah. that's it. We've done an we've done an hour and yeah, ten minutes. Yeah, yeah, for him. Yeah, Apollon, uh, make it one one. Huh? I see just now. Ah, okay. Uh, me, me, I'm an Olympia Go supporter, so unfortunately, even though I wouldn't mind uh, Apollon going through against another team with Olympia Goals, you know, Olympia Goals is my team, so you know, I'm, I'm, yeah. I'm with Olympia Goals on this one. I'm with Olympia Goals. Sorry, uh, if, if oh. there's any Apollon fans watching I've us, I've seen it, I've just seen it. Oh, it's bitter, bitter. Wow. Wow, wow, wow. Well, it's half an hour, half an hour extra time coming. So, yeah. 
They look good first leg, to be honest. I bought in the first half anyway. They look good. So, yeah, okay. Um, it's going to be, you know, a transition now with Catala going to the Spanish model after the German model with uh, Chorniger. But as I said, you know, he's... Catala is a... I rate Catala. I actually think Catala is a, is a really good manager. He just maybe lacks a bit of experience. Mm. But yeah. it's uh, going to be a, a question mark to see how... Because don't, let's not forget that he... He signed for the defending champions, you know. So, but he, yeah. he, he's going to a Spanish model, and um, okay. Mate, I'm, I'm watching the goal again. It's that's it's terrible to concede, man. Those two central defenders have got no physical presence at all. No, neither of them have gone to win the ball in the air. Fucking, hell, it's terrible. I think anyway, I think Olympiacos Olympiacos school. Finish the, the 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 game here in Cyprus. They got a lot of lot of chances, especially yeah, yeah they did. Yeah. LRB missed chances. You imagine la, compare the, the goal that LRB scored last year against Omonia and what last he year, missed. Wow, wow. The, the goal he scored against Omonia and, and and the chances he missed against Abolon. Uh, unbelievable, unbelievable. Yeah, yeah. They could have I wanted to ask your your thoughts on the other team that lost last night, but let's not make it about them. This is our oh. night. We're in the yeah. Europa League. It's right? our We've night, it. you know. So, yeah. you know, it, does, it doesn't matter. I saw a few comments before about them, and I don't really want to talk about them. So, anyway, boys, let's let's wrap it up because we've done an hour and 11 minutes. Yeah, Everyone wants to go to bed. Fofi, yeah. thank you so much for, for jumping on again, man. Really appreciate yeah, it. Yeah, and, uh, uh, we'll, we'll do it again sometime soon, man. For few more, I'm, yeah, uh, I'm, yeah, sure, I'm, sure. I'm back next week. So uh, I'm going to call you early September to go out for either coffee or some food. Uh, and uh, thank you very much for jumping on. It was an absolute pre- pleasure yeah. for you to be. Uh, you know, what do you mean, coffee? You know, always... Roy doesn't drink coffee. Yeah, I don't drink coffee, but maybe Fofi does. So I'll drink no, Fofi, beer. Fofi, he, he wants to get you drunk and, and find out what rubbish jokes you've got so he can take the piss <laughs> out of you on the pod. <laughs> Thank you, Fofi. Okay, have a nice holiday, Royce. Have a Thank nice you. holiday. Thank you, Thank Fofi. You, Fofi. Thank all, all the best. All God the bless. Best. Enjoy, enjoy. All the best. God bless God you, man. All the best. Thank I you, have, yeah, I want to, to congratulate you know. On that team, all the boys of tonight, they, they were fantastic. This, this, have to, we should be here. They found the desire. They have been, they have been a lot. In, so now, this is the, this is the only thing we can, we can give them back, you know, winning games, you know, going to European. European, uh, this is, is great, it's great. So, congratulations for all of them, and I hope they enjoy tonight, and we look forward. Yeah, absolutely. Thank you, Fofi. Thank you for jumping on, mate. We'll speak to you soon, yeah? Yeah. Yeah, yeah. All right, guys. Thank good, you, night. good night. Good night. Good night. Lovely. What a guy, what a guy. And I'll tell you what, we're going to get him on more often and we're going to get more former players on because they deserve to get the uh, the attention as well, man. You know, we, we started doing this pod and these guys helped us get the, the viewership, the subscribers up. Had it not been for them, you know, it would have been a different story. So people like Fofi and, and other players, former players, they're more than welcome to jump back on whenever they want. So Roy, I'll leave, I'll leave it with you, man. Um, wrap it up. And uh, everyone Είμαστε ξεκάθαρη, η καλύτερη, ξεκάθαρα η καλύτερη ομάδα. Ε, επαναλαμβάνω ότι τούτον δεν αλλάζει την ανάγκη να δυναμώσει η ομάδα, να προχωρήσει, να φέρει νέα χαρακτηριστικά, νέους παίχτες. Ε, επειδή μπορεί σε κάποια φάση να δικηθούν και οι ίδιοι που έντιαμε 
κουαλώντας τον το φορτίο, βλέπω ότι γίνεται μια προσπάθεια να έρθουν νέοι παίχτες, ε, ε, μια ιστορική βραδιά για την ομάδα μας ε, και για τους οπαδούς αξίζει τους να χαρούν και να απολαύσουν την μέρα σήμερα. Ε, όμως η δουλειά από τένις σταματά, όπως πριν δέκα μέρες ε, ο κόσμος ήταν έτσι λίγο πιο αρνητικός με ζιόν που έβλεπε τώρα, προφανώς έλειο πιο ικανοποιημένος με ζιόν που βλέπει. Ε, όταν είσαι μια μεγάλη ομάδα, οι απαιτήσεις δεν σταματούν ποτέ και ευτυχώς ή δυστυχώς κρίνεσαι κάθε εβδομάδα για ζιόν που κάνεις. Ασχέτως αν εμείς σαν podcast προσπαθούμε να έχουμε μια πιο ισορροπημένη αθέλης προσέγγιση στα ο, τι γίνεται στην ομάδα αλλά δεν πάβει από το να είναι μια ιστορική επιτυχία η σημερινή με μια ομάδα που είναι καλύτερη εν να πω ότι γίνον η ομόνια δεν ήταν η χειρότερη ομάδα ούτε τώρα είναι η καλύτερη ούτε είναι καλύτερη που την Κέντ συνολικά αλλά στα δύο παιχνίδια που σε παίξαμε έδειξαν ότι είμαστε μια πολύ καλή ομάδα να περιμένουμε με ανυπομονησία να βρει την κλήρωση είναι μια εμπειρία σίγουρα που να θέλουμε να τη ζήσουμε, είναι μια εμπειρία που να προσθέσει ε, στην ομάδα μας και, στε, και που απόψει εμπειρία και που απόψει διαφο- διαφορετικές απόψεις ας πούμε ε, 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 ποιο τρόπο είναι να μας βοηθήσουν το πράγμα ε, ε, χαρήκαμε πολλά so enjoy σαν ομονιάτες τε, τες επόμενες μέρες και ελπίζουμε ότι τα πράγματα να πάσουν ακόμα καλύτερα και ήθελα να το ξεκινήσω έτσι αλλά δεν τα καταφέρα αλλά πάμε σιλάκα μου γαμό θυκάλω μου μέσα μπράβο ρε σιλά μου γαμό τον μπράβο σε ούλους μπράβο λεβέντες μου and, and there's one thing I, I need to say because I didn't do it after the, the, the first leg nights like these we get excited okay so boys wear a hat because in nine months time I don't want babies being born being called Gagu and humble as much as we love the guys yeah so please contraception is important I know Jesus said go forth and multiply but you know Lennon said he wants a sexy group he didn't mean it literally so please wear a hat okay or if you have to double bag it that's all I have to say so yeah this po- good night this everyone po- this podcast was brought for you was brought to you by Durex. <laughs> Duris. 